welcome back to school of civil engineering as we have started a uh, real project tutorial series and uh, in this lecture I am just going to show you that how we'll find out our reinforcement detailing for different types of I mean uh, for BM column slab and for anything so uh, let's start and if you're new to our channel and you were first time watching my uh, video so please subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so let's start first of all and just one thing you can think that where is the stair actually uh, it, it first time uh, it will be construct for one story okay then uh, after some time it will be construct for second story and when they will construct second story they will create slab uh, I mean um, a stair in that side okay in that side they will get a stair after that just uh, come here draw okay just come here draw and from here from here just uh, you can see directly you can see for wall columns reinforcement okay see if you click here column schedule okay for column schedule just uh, click here and you will see you will see the option here okay uh, so I will just select all of them so here we have select all columns and I will just this is actually group okay uh, so if I come here that is another group just see here actually there's the group so just I will click OK after that and uh, before you ensure that you have a AutoCAD software and from here select your scaling I'll select on in C for on fit then I'll click OK after that wait for some time and just see here 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 is our uh, total detailing okay here is our total detailing actually and if you come here and here you will see the total requirement of reinforcement total requirement of reinforcement in that structure you record number uh, only number three bar for tie bar and number mm, five bar for uh, main bar and uh, for our tie bar it's required 0 0.406 tone and uh, for our main bar you got 2.450 tone okay so After that, which types of bar used where? Here is a, it's. Uh, I mean data. So if I come here, if I come here, and just see here, this that is. Uh, see here, this is uh, B1, okay, in B1 panel. And here, if you come here, come here. Uh, this is C1. Okay. Then it is C10. Then it is uh, C11. Then it is C12, C13, and C14, and C15. After that, 16, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So um, if I just come here, if I just come here, here is your total 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4 and 4 into 4, 16 column. So here is just, uh, here uh, it's telling us about 16 column. So if we see that this is column C1, okay, this is column 1, here is column C2. 
eleven here is column C twelve. Okay. So actually uh we can also we can also get our plot drawing. Okay, so if I come here, first of all uh here come here, here is our base I mean our first floor. So if I get it in 2D. So if you think that you need that uh, plan, so just click here. Okay, just click here. Loading plan. Okay. So uh, we can save that plan. Just click here. After that, from here, uh, we'll select one inch for one feet and for second story. Press OK. Then wait for some time, and here is our layout okay this is our beam column layout and here you are seeing that number of beam and its size okay number of beam and its size here is our uh, column number one here is our column number uh, 11 and maybe here is our column number two mm, if i come here here is our column number three after that if i come here here is our column number four so uh, at which column if you get that layout and after that if you come here for another one just you will see its detailing here so now I will just read the detailing actually so here for column detailing actually uh, this is for our from base to this is for base to top okay this is base to sorry base to our uh, ground level i mean for our first level first floor level its total height is 5 feet and here is it, its reinforcement detailing our column size is 14 into 14 okay 14 inch into 14 inch and here here you are seeing that uh, span ties i mean our a a means here is the A. A is here A uh, number five bar. A is number five bar. Okay. Then it is it is a uh, support tie. It is three three tie and support region extend to top three by four in below lower beam or slab okay the support region extend to support uh, region extend to top 3 by 4 inch I mean 0 0.75 inch below lowest beam or slab okay after that mm, here uh, like that this is our uh, main bar this is first layer and this is second layer okay after that uh, this is span ties and this is support ties span ties and support ties span ties means middle okay so our uh, span ties it will be number three bar okay here uh, provided a number three bar and five and here 9 27 by 32 okay 9 uh, 9 is uh, into 27 by 30 okay so just oh, we required uh, in support span we just uh, required 5 bar and if we go again top so here also um, here also support test so after that if we go our top floor is also same okay if we come here so here uh, almost everything is okay so just uh, see that here is our
if I see the clear cover from here One point six eight seven five. So, or uh, if I convert that, I mean, uh, just you can convert it um, easily because uh, our one feet equal to one inch. Okay, one feet equal to one inch. So, uh, actually, it will be like. 1.5 inch clear cover okay so I will just uh, close that yes close that and I will also close that no I do not save that So it is done. So you now next video I will just show you that how we'll find out our beam schedule, I mean um, beam detailing and also slab detailing with foundation design. So till then S12 is connected and also if you think that that video is helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also like share and comment to our videos thank you thank you very much